Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to November 2024 general monthly reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, I am recording this early and it will be out hopefully tomorrow. Today is uh, the 21st and of October because I will be out of town for the last week. So, okay, so Cancer, the new moon is going to be on the 1st. It's going to be in Scorpio, 9 degrees, 35 minutes. We're also going to have the sun in Scorpio, of course. On that same day, it's also going to be 9 degrees. And we also have Mercury in Scorpio at 27 degrees. And we still have Uranus retrograde. It's in Taurus, and it is going to be opposed, not close opposition, because it's 25 degrees. A close opposition to Mercury in Scorpio at 27 degrees. That's a big deal because Uranus is all about um, unexpected, surprising changes. And Mercury has to do with uh, communication and messages. So we can expect some rather emotional, deep emotional, because Scorpio is, is de an intense, intensely emotional um expression of somehow and it could even be not just surprising but shocking coming out okay and we the full moon is going to be on the 15th it is also going to be in Taurus 24 degrees and so it's going to be a close conjunction to transiting Uranus on the 15th so again we've got more unexpected surprising changes and if that's not enough we also have Mars that goes from Cancer your sign into Leo on the 5th and the important thing to note or the time period to note is the 20th through the 30th because on the 20th transiting Pluto goes from Capricorn back into Aquarius for 18 to 20 years. And it's a close opposition to transiting Mars in Leo. So again, we have Mars is an action planet. It's very expressive, very passionate. And so it actively, openly, passionately expresses itself, whatever that specific energy is. And with it opposing transiting Pluto, Pluto's all about getting to the root of whatever it is bringing and, and Aquarius is about bringing out the truth so we're gonna see some more and, and being in Leo Leo is very um, bold bold in its expression in its way so uh, bold about speaking the truth so we're really gonna see a lot of a lot of things going on a lot of intense positive, positive things coming out into the open now. Oh, okay, so Saturn is still in Pisces. It does go direct on the 15th, the same day as the full moon. And on that day, it will be 12 degrees, 41 minutes. We still have Neptune in Pisces, retrograde, 27 degrees all month long. And again, really quick, uh, transiting Pluto in Capricorn, which is now through the 19th, it's very intense right now, and it has been since since it went back into Capricorn in September because it's in the last little bit, which is the most intense time for any planet before it goes into out of that their sign into a new sign. So, again, tension, and that opposes whatever you have in Cancer and especially opposes if it's close degree and it's 29 degrees all month so or from the first or now 
through the 19th. So you, no doubt, Cancer, have an idea about that. And we also have transiting Chiron in Aries at 20 degrees and transiting North Node in Aries at 6 degrees in the beginning and then by the end of the month, 4 degrees. I do very quickly want to say about transiting Aries, Chiron, 20 degrees, right, um, the United States natal wheel that I did for using July 4, 1776, also has a um, natal Chiron in Aries, 20 degrees. So this is a huge deal because right now it's transiting Chiron is right exactly on the United States Chiron. Chiron is where you are injured, is where you're going to have injurious experiences and then once hopefully be healed. So since 1776, all of us in the United States, and in fact, it expands out into the world as well, is just most intense in the United States. And all of us who have lived from 1776 to the present day have been being injured, whether we've known it or not. And a lot we haven't known, and that's what's coming out, the truth of, of that. So hopefully now, soon, we will be healed. Okay. Cancer, let's get to your personal reading. Let's see what's going on personally for you this month. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Cancer. What astrologically is going on with them? How, what astrological energy is assisting cancers? Oh, that's interesting. I want to take those two and this one. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take this one's first and then this one and that one. Okay. So let's see. Pisces, number 12. Sensitize. First thing I got is you being a water sign as well, you are very sensitive to some of that stuff. I, if not all of it, that I have been speaking about to what's going on in the world. And so you've had, you have a leg up as far as knowing, knowing intuitively what's coming. 54, and this is tension. Yeah. So either you have personally, of course, been experiencing tension or been in um, tension-oriented situations or chaotic, um, very intense emotions, um, e emotional energy also, especially with this sensitizing. So you've had to really, even some of you, um, desire to desensitize yourself I'm getting because it's been so you're, you're so sensitive to all of this tension it's been very very extreme for you and so let's see what else let's see what else I'm also getting though some of you you are able to see because this is these are two birds colliding because you're so sensitive, you also can see this coming before it comes, before it actually happens. And so some of you are able to divert or um, extinguish. I just got extinguish or um, not desensitize. Uh, transmute that energy or that situation or at least uh, take yourself out of there out of that if that's the only thing you can do because you see it before it happens so you just choose to not go or um, be in that situation because you're extra sensitive anyway and that's just too much so you're learning how to again that's putting up boundaries 
and listening to your intuition, listening, listening to your specialty because you are a very emotional sign. North Node. Now, another sign got this. North Node. Who was it? Was it Scorpio? I don't know. But anyway, you might. You're getting it now. If you get it again, if you watch another reading, um, it's number 34 that breaks down into a seven. So yes, North Node. And definitely some of you have been working and have been and are working through your south node so you can receive the blessings of your north node that is what's coming that is your future and whatever if you don't know what your south node is and you want to know um you can get a hold of me um through my website thecreativewoman.org if that sounds right to you you don't have to go to me but uh, that's a sure way to get to the root quickly of what's in your subconscious, the South Node. It's a program, it's a blockage that we all have that we are to go beyond, but you have to bring it out into your conscious awareness first. You have to know what it is before you know how to, to go beyond it. So good for you, uh, Cancers. And those of you, again, that don't know your South Node, but you're no doubt working through something. So um, you are and having to, to deal with this tension and your sensitivity, you're gaining something positive. And so you will definitely, if you don't understand it now, you will understand the positive that you have gained and uh, for yourself and um, how you've grown in that situation this month. Okay, so let's see what else. I am being called to get another deck here. The moon deck. So just a moment here. Let me get this little turtle. Maybe some of you turtles are, I've never done this before, but someone loves turtles or that's your uh, spiritual animal or you're seeing turtles or you can, or you will be seeing turtles this month. That's a sign or synchronicity for someone or some of you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right. Ah. New moon in Taurus. Know your worth. This is what you've been learning. Your worth. Your sensitivity is your superpower. Where no doubt, if you're like me, I'm a Pisces, I'm water sign too. I used to think that my sensitivity was a weakness because it was no fun, it didn't feel good. Bogged it down and that's true, but no, it's your superpower. And that's what you are seeing and it's expanding too. Whatever you've been going through You've been refining it. You've been expanding it. You've been um, further gaining from it and, and strengthening it as well. And you do. If you don't already, you will know your worth by the end of this month. You will have gained uh, and see your value. Open up to change. New moon in Aquarius. Yes, Cancer. Open up to change because it is here. It is coming and it's going to continue. And so that might be hard for some of you Cancers because Cancers, and if you're a lot Cancer, that could be doubly difficult for you because Cancers are um, into tradition, into 
their the world or their community their families and so when things change it's really really difficult and it's going to be more difficult for some of you than others because it depends on your natal wheel and some of you I'm getting prepare yourself for change and maybe some of you have been preparing yourself because you already know that change is difficult. It's difficult for all of us. It's difficult for all of us. It's not easy for anyone. Um, it's just there is certain aspects of um, cancer that it makes it um, tradition, like tradition, uh, tradition of um, your family tradition and or maybe the your world tradition or your state tradition things like that are really for some of you not all of you but that is i'm just getting that's for someone um just stay open to that change okay i'm just gonna put this here right now okay so what else let's get some tarot and see what comes to cancer. What else does cancer need to know? And the United States is a cancer. Um, it's cancer. That's the, um, the sign of cancer. And so it's going to be doubly difficult for those if you're a cancer and you're living in the United States. Um, that could be doubly difficult for you to change in some way or be open to a specific type of change. It's going to be different for all of you. Okay. Three of swords. Yeah, you've been definitely this three of swords talks about being emotionally injured. Um, and okay. This is the past. This is the past. And because Here's the chariot, number seven. You're moving beyond that this month. If, if you've been having a hard time moving beyond whatever this uh, three of swords is, heartbreak, um, painful ending I'm getting for someone, breakup, um, you might have had someone pass, a relative, um, but there's, there's forward movement, and, and something's coming in fast for you that's going to uh, turn this around, is what I'm getting. Turn that energy around, or assist you in turning that energy around. Okay, what else? That could be, for some of you, that could be the tension. Okay, what else for Cancer? Ah, look at that. Yes. Four of Wands. Well, I just got you're reaching your potential. Someone's reaching their potential. Uh, Four of Wands. So you're going to have something to celebrate. There is going to be a celebration. You're going to be joyful about something. And it's coming in fast and unexpected. And I, ha I have a feeling it has to do with this transiting Uranus. I just got, it's going to make you rich. Whatever rich means to you. You're going to, you're, you're going to have an up leveling in your situation. I'm also seeing some of you coming together with another uniting with another in celebration um you know it could be marriage it doesn't have to be marriage but you you are uh, choosing to to uh, unite choosing to um partner partner up you know whether it's business or romantic And that's, it's very beneficial for both of you, is what I'm getting. It's a very fruitful union. Okay. 
What else? For Cancer. What else? You have seven, seven here because four plus three. So the three of swords plus the four of wands makes this another seven. And you have the seven of, of um, the chariot. So seven, seven or sevens, definitely a sign or synchronicity for you. Some of you are having a spiritual awakening. That's what I just got with the sevens because seven is very spiritual. That's a spiritual number. And I just, that's the words I got in my head. Okay. Five of cups. Yeah. Again, after this five of cups, this is similar to, it's just reiterating the three of swords. So yeah, it, whatever, whatever happened here, it really, um, it really hits you in your emotional in your emotions and your emotional body. And so I'm getting some of you could have even from this emotion, because everything starts in our emotions, the um, every dis-ease in our body starts with in the emotional body. So some of you, it was so great that, and so, so deep that you also um, saw you had some health problems or you have some health issues because of that and it originates from this emotional heartbreak situation whatever it is but I'm seeing you're definitely overcoming it because look because it's showing this this is low as low as just about as low as you can go emotionally and here now the king of cups so you've reversed that or you're um, it will be completely reversed in November, sometime in November. So, because this is you, you're coming out as the King of Cups, whether you're male or female. Again, something to celebrate because you've mastered whatever broke your heart and you had to go through that emotional heartbreak and those emotions. You mastered or you will be mastering in control of your emotions now meaning um you know how to to uh how to, i don't know how to how to exactly how to say transform a negative emotion into into a positive you have learned or you are in that final stage of completion of that because the king of cups he's in command of his emotions he knows how to control his negative emotions or how to deal with them properly so so that he turns them into positive strengthens himself and or also he knows how to heal others he has the information, the knowledge, the ability to share that with others or another too. Those that are, are able and willing and desiring to, to be healed. He also has that ability. And great unconditional love for himself and others. You see that cup. He has that big cup. And here again, know your worth. And this is part, all part of it, of the King of Cups, is you know your worth. Because of everything you've going through and have gone through, that has increased you. That has gotten you, made you stronger, emotionally more resilient. And while being able to be sensitive, keep your heart open and not allow the chaos or whatever emotional turmoil that's going on around you, the tension to get you down, to um, lower your frequency. Or if it does, that, that happens, but you know how to quickly bring that back up or that's what you've been learning so that you can stay in your balanced, unconditionally loving, high vibrational state no matter what. 
and then that assist, uh, assists others to bring you automatic or, or assisting others to just bring them also up to your vibration. So you're teaching without ever even necessarily even knowing it, just by being you. And that is beautiful. So yes, oh, excuse me, that was loud. Ow, sorry about that. So yes, you have, and this is 1111. So also you might be seeing 11s. So we have the four of wands and so celebration and you are in your king of cups energy by no later than the end of November. This is what you get to look forward to. There is huge celebration for you. Absolutely. It's coming. Well, Cancer, that's all I have for you. I hope this was helpful. And I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you for November 2024. Until next time. Bye.